Hi, my name is Sarah Saldana, and today's date is January 28th, 2018, and in this video I'm going to talk about the experiments done in the lab microscopy for microbiology. So technically this um, experiment was supposed to be done a couple weeks ago, but because I only received the box of seven slides this week, I was only now able to complete the lab. So in this video, I'm going to go over the first exercise, which was going over the various components of our microscope. So I can go ahead and tilt this over here. The first part of the microscope I'm going to go over is the ocular lens, which is up here. Um, the ocular magnification is dependent um, on the microscope. Um, they vary per microscope pretty much. Mine is 15 for the ocular magnification. Um, bringing this a little bit down, here we've got the arm of the microscope. Um, this big knob is the coarse focus knob. Um, it allows me to move this up and down. Here we have the fine focus knob, which allows me to adjust um, the focus uh, of the image I'm seeing up here. Uh, this here is called the turret. It's got three different objective lenses, um, the smallest one being called scanning, the medium one being called low lens, and then the largest one being the high lens. Um, these all have different magnifications as well. So the magnification for the scanning lens is 4, um, the magnification for the low lens is 10, and then for the high it's 40. Um, but in order to get the total magnification, I would need to take into consideration the um, ocular magnification, which was 15. So um, it would be 15 times the scanning, which was 4, uh, which was 60. If I did 15 times the low lens, which is 10, it'd be 150 total magnification. And for the high power lens, it would be 40 times 15, which would give me a total magnification of 600. So... Um, we learned that in this week's lab, how to calculate for total magnification. Um, some other parts on this microscope here. These are the stage adjustment knobs. So this one here allows me to move the slide um, forward and backwards, while this one allows me to move it right to left. Um, here we have the stage. Uh, this is the stage clip, which holds the slide in place um, when I'm viewing different slides. I'm going to lower this just a little bit more. Here we have the base of the microscope. Um, my microscope actually has a separate uh, light or illumination source. Um, so I just always have to be careful when I'm moving the microscope around that I keep this with it. Um, right above the illumination is the diaphragm. So there's a slight knob here. And this allows me to control how much light actually goes through um, this piece here when I'm viewing different slides. Um, so yeah, so these are the different parts of the microscope I wanted to go over. Um, in this lab, we also covered a couple different concepts such as um, calculating the field of view, um, which decreases as the magnification increases. So pretty much the concept of the closer I get to the image, the less of the image I can see. Um, we also did wet mount slides, which was really cool. Um, I actually did that portion a couple weeks ago um, because I already had that supplies. I was able to do that part of this lab. Um, but I really liked it. It was cool um, getting to actually see the samples we got from the inside of our cheek as well as from our teeth and gums. Um, it was also interesting since it's been a couple of weeks three weeks since I was supposed to do this lab. I'm just doing it now. This week we also covered um, the different morphologies of bacteria. So now going back and looking at all seven slides of, you know, the penicillin, um, the yeast, and all these different slides, um, being able to look at these images now with the knowledge of, uh, you know, the bacteria shape, their size, um, their different um, distinct features, um, and such. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool um, going back and getting to take a look at that. Um, and yeah, that was about it um, for covering the microscopy for a microbiology lab.